Ok, buonasera, hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Maria Cristina Finucci and I am an Italian artist and architect. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all the organizers here. We, they did a fantastic work. And the host country, Armenia, is a great place. I'm very happy to be here. And I also say thank you to the Italian ambassador to, the, to Yerevan, to, the, to Armenia, for his presence. Well, um, my speech will be full of images, lots of images. So uh, there, will, there will be very small talking, but many images. And I, I, I must say, I am the president of the largest state in the world, which is the garbage patch state. Uh, you know, when uh, you know the islands in the ocean, uh, there was they were no man's land, but I decided to make a, a state, a real country. I went to the UNESCO and make a, 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 the, a flag, the uh, constitution, and everything that a, a, a state has. And now I have declared the existence of the garbage patch state. So uh, as I promise small talking, I'll show you a video which uh, resumes the 10 years of my work. And then uh, we will go in detail. Like that.
Thank you. Allora, alt F5. No? Non si vede niente? Ok, ok. Ok. All right, so I'll go into detail. That's, that's my flag the flag of the state that I have um, founded at the UNESCO in Paris with a big installation. I have made this gigantic installation made of plastic bottles and uh, you know, with mirror, it was really, really big. And uh, I have declared you know, uh, the, uh, the existence of the garbage patch state. And uh, that was very nice uh, because um, you know, uh, at that time, uh, uh, when I uh, made it, I made, um, how to say, I, I was in contact with the, uh, the mayor of the, um, the city of Garbandia, which is, uh, uh, you know, it, it right in the, in the garbage patch state. And uh, I made uh, a, a speech in French, I wrote it in French, and I had Google to, to make the voice. But I made a mistake, and instead of uh, saying the French from France, I made French from Quebec. So uh, people, you know, were <laughs> Spanish. And also the following day, the Quebec uh, uh, embassy wrote an official letter saying why the garbage patch state has a Quebecois uh, mayor. And that was really nice because it means that I made it. It was really official. I will go fast. Uh, after that, I, will, I went to Venice, to the Biennale in Venice, and in the courtyard of Kafoskai, I made the pavilion of the garbage patch state. You know, as every uh, country has a pavilion at the Biennale, my new country had a pavilion, and uh, uh, after that, the press all over the world um, really covered this uh, this piece of new, and uh, it was uh, really became official that the garbage patch state existed. Uh, why I decided I wanted to make a, a state out of the garbage island. Because I realized that uh, the problem was not known at that time, it was more than 10 years ago, um, because uh, the plastic debris are almost invisible. They are very, very tiny. It's plastic and also microplastic, and you cannot see it. So if it's something you cannot see, you cannot, you cannot uh, talk about. So it needed an image. And my image, the image that I made in order to create awareness of this problem, is to create a state out of that big territory, which is uh, at that time was almost the size of Russia. But now it's even more. That's why I say I am the president of the, gar of the um, largest state in the world. And I'm not proud of being president, of course. I would like to see my borders shrinked, of course. That, that, that's why I, I do this. Uh, right after that, I went to Madrid, and for ARCO, you know, um, all the artists know what ARCO is, it's the most important art fair in Spain. Uh, as a collateral um, artwork, I made this in the Gran Via, which is the biggest street, the largest street in, in, uh, in Madrid. I made like a blanket out of, of plastic bottles. You see uh, the structure. Um, I don't know if it's clear. Each one of these is a bottle, clear bottle. And for writing the garbage patch state, I put um, reflecting paper, reflecting, you know, the one that you put on the car. And also, you know, this is a O because at that time, that was the birthday of my uh, daughter who died when she was very young and I wanted to pay a tribute to her. So uh, these were green bottles and inside the bottles I put uh, soil with um, seeds so that, you know, I wanted to see flowers 
with green uh, greenhouse effect in that O. Oh, uh, you know, in that photo, you see how the the bottles were hanging. There were really quite a great amount of bottles, and this is how they um, put it inside. Okay, but of course, uh, it was February and it didn't bloom. But with the augmented reality, I managed to show flowers in that letter O. And the nice fact was that um, when people passed through the Gran Via uh, and saw and would saw the would see the, the you know this big installation, they did take a photo with a flash at night. And at the very moment, the uh, you know this the the letter uh, garbage patch state will light up, and just for a second. But the, the person would take home the photo of the, of the entire uh, light and image. And the person behind, you know, it, they walk and, and make a flash. And then people behind, oh, I want to do it myself. And it was like boom, boom. every second there was somebody who made a, a, a photo with flash. And that was very, you know, very interesting. Well, after that, it, this is a, a very small, um, uh, installation that I have done. It, it, I, I was asked to do something for uh, Grazia, which is a magazine in Italy, and they made a, um, a, you know something in the Italian Culture Institute. I had to do something on the facade, and since I, in front of this building, you see the other building had those uh, uh, carpet outside, I made. Same thing, but with plastic. So uh, it was like a joke. And this was the augmented reality. Well, for the first uh, birthday of the Garbage Patch State, I made an embassy in Rome at the Maxim Museum. So uh, you see that the installation, in, in, there is a big installation, and then there was a little pavilion with the uh, embassy inside. This is the 30 meter installation made of uh, a PET, you know, PET, the, the bottles around it. And it looked like, when the sun hit, uh, it looked like real um, um, water. Kids were very happy about that. This is the material, but you know there were many waves. Inside those waves, I recreated uh, a world made of plastic objects. You know the, the, the object that we toss and, make, and they end in, in, the, in the ocean. They recreate their own life, uh, you know, in, in, in a particular way. That's the build, that was the building, Zahadi. And this is the embassy inside. I made a, a civil register of all the possible objects that can go to the garbage patch. Because when we, we use a plastic object uh, and we throw it away, first of all, where is the way? A way is the ocean. We never, we never think about it away, out of our sight, but um, uh, I, I, I ask myself a question, and this is it, actually, what does an, ob an object feel when it gets destroyed? And the objects and, you know, the inhabitants of the garbage patch state think that they are involuntary agents of the extinction and um, for, for you know the marine ecosystem, and they hope that their fellow objects that haven't been discarded will meet the same fate, but they will get reused. So to the many people that ask me, oh, I want to be a citizen of your country, I say okay, and this is what I give them. I give a, a, a ID card, but you have to adopt one of the objects of the uh, civil registry. So
So, you know, the, the people would put their name here in the photo, and here uh, they, they get assigned one of the objects. And this is a certificate of adoption. I go very fast because I think there's not much time. Uh, this is a piece of the wall of, uh, of, of the embassy with the many, one different from another. And you will remember, please, those, because it's with them that I have done the installation uh, that you can see upstairs. Now I'll show you a little, very small video. No? No, it doesn't, doesn't, okay. Well, after being shown all the, my country to normal people, you know, to people of the street, I thought that it was time to show this uh, thing to the governor. And then I went to the UN in, in New York. Uh, okay, I, I went to the, new, to the UN secretary building. You see uh, in the circle, I made an installation that from outside went inside. It was made of uh, plastic bottles and cups. And it, it was like a snake that was going inside the main lobby where everybody was, couldn't miss it. I mean, when Obama or uh, uh, governors went, because it, it, it was during the General Assembly in the uh, Environment Week. And uh, the name was the, the, the mission of my state, the mission of the government state to the, to the United States in New York. They couldn't miss that. This is the floor plan of the uh, of, of my snake flag, of course. Okay. After that, uh, there was a Milan Expo 2015, and I was asked to do something for the. Uh, Baracco Foundation, which is one of the most important art foundation in Italy, in their premises. Uh, so I decided to make a vortex because all these uh, plastic debris are gathered by vortex. You know, they they are called vortex. They are in the in the sea. After that, uh, I was asked by one of the ministers of Italy uh, to, to make an installation for a um, conference about uh, Mediterranean and all the, um, the uh, representatives of the government uh, of the uh, Mediterranean countries were there to talk about the sort of the, of the Mediterranean. So in the, in the uh, room where I did that installation, that, that was where they gathered and they discussed. So there was like a, a snake, like a monster, which is in fact the monster that we have uh, created with our behavior, came up from, from, from the floor and then go down and up and down. It was very, very aggressive, as you can see, with spikes and he, was, he, he had a very nervous m movement. And after that, oh, oh, sorry. After that, uh, I was asked by the New York Times International to make an installation for the COP21 in Paris at that time. Um, so what I did, uh, you know, you remember the, the, the monster that he went down into the ground. I figure out that that monster crawled or went in, in, in the, in the under, underground. He moved all the way to Paris and he showed up 
in Paris, in front of the building of the uh, COP21, tried to enter the building and to reach the, the room where the governors were. So the, the image that you see, uh, it was outside the building and it was even angrier because it was red. Do you remember it was colorful before? Now it's completely red and even more angry and more aggressive. So after a couple of movement, he reaches the inside of the building and try and climb the stairs in order to show itself to the big uh, of, the, of the planet. And in that occasion, I, I, had, um, I had a chance to meet um, um, John Kerry. <laughs> John Kerry? And I, I introduced myself and I said, um, Mr. John Kerry, I am the president of the Garbage Patch State. And he said, you are the president of what? <laughs> This was outside. Later, I was asked to make another installation for, uh, the, for Sky, Sky TV, uh, in the auditorium. And um, my idea was to make, can change the color and to make the same thing, but it didn't, it didn't happen. Okay, um, I need to say something. Uh, I started with uh, talking about plastic to create a, about uh, to create awareness about plastic in the ocean, but then uh, I realized that it was not only plastic that is the problem of our of our planet. Of course, the plastic is one of the biggest because it leads also climate change. But the, it's all together. You know, in the universe, we are all connected. It's one universe. We are one thing. So anything uh, that we do reflects on the other on the other things. So um, it's uh, it's not only plastic, but uh, the the change of the the the, the, um, uh, the climate change leads to uh, the desertification and then to uh, um, uh, starvation and also migrations and also conflict. You know, it's one problem, so it's a domino effect. So I, I, I talk about, now I talk about everything that bothers our, our planet. Well, um, I, I was asked to make an installation in a little island in front of uh, Trapani, which is a Sicilian uh, city. It's a beautiful island, it's a, an archeological park where uh, there are Phoenician ruins. And I decided, and I, th and I uh, asked myself, what can I do here when they brought me there and showed me these beautiful archaeological, these beautiful ruins? I said, uh, well, maybe in a thousand years, an archaeologist will find only plastic of our age. And that's why the title of this installation is, is The Plastic Age. So I started making uh, blocks, m same size and um, made in the same shape of uh, the ruins, um, made of uh, plastic bottles, millions of plastic bottles. And uh, um, the shape was uh, making the letters help. At night it was lit and uh, you, could s you could see from, from, the, from the clay. It was like a small city with uh, portals. In fact, the archaeologist, my archaeologist, uh, who dig and found this marvelous thing, uh, he didn't realize that it was a letter help, but uh, he thought it was, I mean, he didn't know what it was. He, he was really puzzled, but at the end, when he took his uh, space uh, ship, because in a thousand years, only aliens could, could be here in our planet because we, we would be for sure in, extinct, he would go and see from his window the letter helps that was 
uh, the cry uh, for help of our, of our era. It was a gigantic thing. It was really, really huge. Well, uh, after that, I was asked to make an installation in the Roman Forum. You know, uh, the col you, you see in the, in the back the Colosseum, and that's where the, my installation is, is the Basilica Julia, which is the place where the Romans governed the known world at that time. And I made the same gabions, the same stones, um, made of plastic, in a sacred place. And uh, I'm, the lighting was even more defined. You see the, the image speaks by itself. This was the day of the inauguration. We had 2,500 people in the piazza of the capital, you know, the Michelangelo piazza, designed by Michelangelo. A really a crowd. And on the facade of the capital, uh, I, I showed a video of, of, my, of my work. Uh, well, this is how, I don't know if, yes, you can see. The people entered here, uh, stayed in the Michelangelo Piazza, and then entered the Tabularium, which is a, mm, a, a Roman place which is not mm, able to visit during the night, but people would go there and then entered at night, something really um, uh, unusual. At night, they could go inside the uh, Roman Forum and go and be beside the installation. And it was very nice because people were reflected by that orange, um, orange light. It was a magical night. You know, these are um, images during the day. Well, that's interesting because I noticed. You see, to the left side, there is a Roman block an actual Roman block for, uh, for building, which looks like exactly in the, in the shape and also uh, you know, the, the, the dimension of my bottle cups blocks. I must say that the installation really fit well in the environment. It was not disturbing at all. Actually, it was really uh, inserted. That was also big. Uh, you know that in Rome there are millions of visitors each summer. That was um, the May, uh, June, because it was inaugurated the 8th of June, which is the Ocean Day. And I, the message uh, was spread through many, many uh, social and photos. Can you imagine millions of people uh, making photos and sharing? That was my goal. Same, uh, same year um, as the president of the Garbage Patch State, I signed the um, 2030 UN agenda. And this is the actual document uh, signed also by the Minister of Environment in Italy. Um, right after, uh, not, not right after, uh, a year later maybe, um, for design, Milan Design Week, you know, the Fuori Salone, which is the, you know, the, the, the famous design week, 
I had given the uh, the whole um, space, the courtyard of the university, which is really the, the center of the of the um, Milan for the Salone, and I made another help. Which is my last one uh, of that kind. I thought you may be interested in seeing how those galleons reached the university and you know, work in progress. And this uh, was the, in the day of, of uh, the inauguration, where for the lighting, it was all mm, dark. For the lighting, I made a, a, I superposed the sound of many animals, wild animals like the giraffe, the elephant, and all superimposed. And uh, I played that all at once, and it came out a cry, a, a real cry, because it's a cry of nature. I think that uh, you see those. Um, images. It looks like lava, and that was made expressly. I, I did it in purpose. I really wanted the, the lighting was looking like lava because it is a, a wound that uh, we have in given to the to, to the earth, and the, it bleeds out, and it bleeds, of course, not <laughs> blood but plastic, and it is the first time, you know, in, 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 in millennium, in centuries, uh, man has always uh, needed to uh, defend itself from the nature. Now it is the first time that nature has to defend itself from human. Oh, this is a completely another thing. Uh, when I realized that in, in you know, the um, Bot in, on the bottles of laundry detergents, there is written, at least in Italy, there is written uh, biodegradable up to 92%. Uh, okay, and how about the 8%? You know, uh, many, many uh, laundry have been done, even in this moment. Can you imagine how many uh, laundry have, are, are done in, in the world? and they discard detergent in the ocean. So uh, I made um, the, uh, I made like a, rea um, a reagent of, of this 8% which was invisible because it is invisible, uh, detergent is blue and goes into the ocean and you don't wow. even notice, but it's there. Uh, so I colored the detergent this 8% uh, with a color and uh, I made a surface over the, the premise that they gave me. I made a surface made of detergent, uh, colored detergent, so that people could see how the surface of the sea would be if that could be visible. And also I couldn't help myself to write a help on, on the, uh, the surface with a um, uh, glow-in-the-dark painting so that it was invisible during the day but at night and that photo is made with a drone at that night you could see the help cry again this is work in progress this is myself making those colors Well, um, on this year, uh, I went to, the, to uh, Milan for again for the for the Salone. I've been asked to make an installation at, uh, for the um, Unipo building, and uh, uh, I decided to make the whole building with the with the, this letter H two A. Because at that time, in, in, there was a, now also, there is a lack of, of, of drinking water. That's another problem. So I wanted to stress that, and I wrote with light, uh, H2A, and also help. 
uh, this, I mean, you see the, la the yellow ones that, may, that help? They are made with this, um, I don't know if you, no, you don't see, with the um, um, cubes, white cubes, they were, I put a light inside so it could spell help. And uh, the, other, the other things that you see are also water tanks, mm, soft, full of water and air, of course, because I didn't want to waste too much water, where people could sit. And all these uh, water tanks were linked by tubes. They were connected, they connect each other, and they were red and blue like the veins and the arteries, um, so, so that everything was linked. There was only one organism. As I said before, I wanted to stress the fact that we are all linked. Even if you sit there to the last one, there is a reflection on all of them. And in fact, when you see the letter A, you see H2A, uh, uh, O, sorry, uh, in the letter O, I made a breathing machine. It was breathing, but it was also choked by plastic, and so that it, it symbolized that the ocean really uh, struggled for air and for for for, uh, for um, breathing. This is during the night. You see all these uh, vessels. And this is the breathing machine. They went up and down, making a noise, like, you know, it was very creepy. And here we are. I don't know if you have had an occasion to go upstairs and to see uh, my installation amongst the others. Well, uh, I were, if you go back to the, um, all the birth certificate that I made with my objects, I, I thought that uh, plastic objects are very vulnerable. You see, we go to the theme of this, uh, of this uh, exhibition. They're very vulnerable and they are com tossed every day out by people and they are discarded. And there is an analogy also to people because it's the value, the money that they value that counts. You know, if it's an object made of plastic that it's a design and, it, and it, uh, it's expensive, you keep it. But it, if it's not, you throw it away. And it happens also, unfortunately, to people. But so when they go to the garbage patch state, those pieces of plastic, they lose their shape, they are broken up in particles, and they reach an entropy situation. But with the use of artificial intelligence, they manage to organize themselves into another uh, form of life. And this is how you imagine the form of life. Um, yes. And these are made by the artificial intelligence. But, and this is a, a detail of, of, the, of all these objects. But um, my question also is, do they keep the memory of their previous shape, of their previous life? Yes, they do. And uh, you, if you go upstairs and you, you can try you, uh, you, with the augmented reality, you scan the objects and you see how they were before the entropy situation. Well, I have um, a foundation, uh, the Finucci Foundation, for now for uh, helping art that uh, uh, um, try to help the planet. And thank you very much for your attention. Questions? No. Okay. Oh, 
there is a question. Yes. I keep them. Uh, as you see, the help I've done, I've used them so many times, and they are in uh, storage. I never, of course, um, it's needless to say, I don't throw them. I, um, I never throw them. I keep them. And uh, one thing that I would like to say is that that's not garbage. I never use garbage. All the bottle cups are uh, mm, uh, mm, collected by university because I always, I always you, you, mm, work with universities. You know, uh, that was a very fast presentation, but uh, mm, there is an important thing, my work with the universities. So university uh, g um, collect the, the bottle cups, so it means that there, there is a people that didn't throw it, but um, keep the kept them and put them uh, in in a bag for you know for for my installation. So it's not garbage. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.